Hello, my name is Teresa Miller and I'm the Director of Technical Advocacy here at Cohesity. Today we're going to take a look at how you can protect and recover your M365 workloads across multi-cloud. So here we are in our Cohesity Data Cloud uh, Data Protect, our as-a-service offering dashboard, where you get a, at a glance view into what's going on in your environment, including the regions that you are set up in, as well as the usage across those regions, and protection status, and more. So next, what we're going to do is go ahead and go to Sources. So from a Sources perspective, we can see that I already have several registered sources. We can see when things are in a good state, and we can see when things need to be resolved, which is a really nice feature. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and click register. I'm going to go ahead and choose M365. And what I want to show you here is that you have a lot of choice around where your M365 workloads can be protected. I'm going to go ahead and cancel because I have M365 registered. You can see that I have it registered in AWS in my case. Now let's go ahead and look at how this works. So essentially, regardless of the region, your experience is the same. I'm going to go ahead and click in here. So first you're going to see all of your mailboxes and what has been protected. You do have the ability to protect and unprotect everything, which is a nice feature. Now I'm going to head over to OneDrive. From a OneDrive perspective, we can also see that we have many different users. I'm going to go ahead this time, I'm going to actually choose a single user and show you what protection looks like. So here we have our region. I'm going to go ahead and choose my policy, which is how long I'm going to keep the backup and how frequent I'm going to backup. We also have the ability to evaluate and choose some more options, including some SLAs and even some quiet time windows or blackout periods where you don't want this to run. I'm going to go ahead and choose protect in this case. So that is on its way. If we head over to SharePoint sites, we're going to see a similar experience. I have the ability to review, I can sort, I can filter, I can choose an additional site, in this case to protect, I can choose my policy. Again, I have those more capabilities and additional settings, and I can click protect. We can do similar for teams. We have the ability to select our teams, click protect, choose our policy. Again, you're going to see a lot of similarity. And again, regardless of the cloud, you get all the same choices. And here we have M365 groups. I'm going to go ahead and choose protect. Let's get one of these running. Click more, just give everything a review. Looks great. Additional settings, no changes. Click protect. So protection, very simple, very straightforward. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at some recovery capabilities. So the first thing I'd like to do is actually do a restore. We're going to go ahead, work with Tony Stark's mailbox. Notice that I have the ability to restore the whole mailbox. I can recover mailbox items, unprotect, or if I needed another backup that was uh, more recent, I'd have the ability to just do a run now like this was run two hours ago. Now, to keep the tone of recovery, I'm going to go ahead and restore some mailbox items for Tony Stark. The first thing you're going to see here is I have the ability to choose the type of object that I want to restore. I'm going to go ahead and keep this on email and folder, and I want to go ahead and just select the wild card so I can see everything I have to pick from. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and choose two different items. 
Note, I have the ability to also change the point in time and even location from a recovery point perspective. I'm gonna cancel and I have the ability to do this. Um, they can be different restore locations as well or recovery points as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and choose next and what I have here is the ability to choose where I'm gonna to restore to. So I could go back to the original location. Some challenges with this though is users may not know where this will be restored back to because they forget what folder it was in, for example. Alternatively, you may want to actually review with the user what was restored. So in that case, I like to use new location. And by choosing new location, I get the ability to choose an admin mailbox that I have set up for recoveries that is going to allow me to create a folder and restore these objects to and then give them a review with the user to make sure they're what they need. I'm going to go ahead here. I clicked recover and we can see that the recovery has initiated. Now, while we're waiting for that, the other restore I want to take a look at with you today is around groups. So here I have some M365 groups and we are specifically going to work with this demo group here. So the first thing I need to do is go out to my groups and I'm going to go ahead and choose demo group and I'm going to go ahead and initiate um, a deletion. So we'll go ahead and do delete, delete. It does give me the ability to restore it from within here, but in our scenario, we're going to just continue to leverage Cohesity so I can show you how that restore works. All right, so back to the Cohesity dashboard. I'm going to go ahead. I can see that this was backed up five hours ago. I'm going to go ahead and choose my demo group and click Recover Groups. We're going to go back to the original location in, in this case because we know that that was deleted. And I'm going to go ahead and click Recover. And that is also now in progress. So let's go ahead and look. Um, so here I have the group that is working on being restored. And I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the activity log and we can actually see that it took seven seconds to restore those couple messages back uh, for Tony Stark. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go to our restore demo mailbox and we can see here, I have that folder that I created and I have a subfolder where if we drill in, we can now get access to the two messages that our user was requesting be restored. And we can give them the ability to review this uh, by moving it into a folder in their mailbox, for example, for review, or you could do a working session where they review it with you here. All right, so now let's go ahead and peek at the Cohesity dashboard. And we can see that this demo group restore is underway. Looks as if it's pretty much wrapped up. So let's go ahead and head over to groups and let's give this a refresh. And here we are. We have our demo group restored and ready to go. So with Cohesity, you get the flexibility to do the level of restore you need for your M365 objects. That wraps up this demo.